What's up guys? I'm coming through with another video. This is going to be a video request and the topic is going to be on healing after narcissistic abuse and the self growth process that needs to take place after this has been done. So overcoming narcissistic abuse guys is a very, very hard thing to do. It's a very hard thing to go through. Because you never know what you're getting into until you're in it. And when you're in it, it can be hard to get out. It can take time to really realize that you have to get out. You lose yourself. There's certain people that you just go around in life that makes you lose yourself. You don't even have to be in a relationship with this person. You can be friends with this person and you would lose yourself just by being around them. You could work with certain individuals every single day and lose yourself just from being around them all day, every day. And this is why I'm big on not taking jobs in certain places. I was big on this my whole life, not just now, but my whole life. You should never take a job where you're showing up every day and there's abuse being done to you. Verbally, mentally, it could be spiritual warfare going on. If your peace is disturbed and you can't be happy with where you're at, you should not be there. You should leave and find something else because you can find something else. No matter where you live, no matter where you're at, there's always another option. There always is. Just like a relationship. There's not just one girl. There's not just one guy out there. There are other options. Some people don't think so. Some people believe that they got the best. Some people believe that the person they're with right now or talking to, there's not going to be better than them. And something that narcissistic people actually do is make you believe this. They make you believe this and they torture you. They get in your head. They get inside your head. And play their games. Manipulation. They say weird things. They say things that confuse you. And there's nothing good that ever comes out of being involved with one of these types of people. Overcoming the abuse. The first thing you have to do is cut them off. You had to cut them off, you had to cut ties. You had to block these people. You cannot look at these people, you can't let them talk to you the way they want to talk to you. You cannot give them emotion. You can't give them anything because they feed off of this. They feed off of other people's emotions. When you cut them off, you have to begin to isolate yourself for an extended period of time. I've done this many times, 
many different times. It gets easier as time goes on. It's always the hardest in the beginning. You have to relax. You have to relax yourself, relax your mind. Surround your mind with positive things. Like material like this or other material on YouTube. And people that's going to spark positivity into your soul and bring light back into your life. That's what you have to surround yourself with. And nothing else, nothing else can get in to disturb you. Because all these things that try to come in, it's all demonic energy. You have to see all these things for what they are and take care of it. Because if you don't take care of it, it's going to get you. It's going to disturb you. You have to take it easy on yourself. Make sure after being in situations like those, you take it easy on yourself. Take some time for yourself. Relax. Eat some good food. Listen to positive people. Drink lots of water. Cleanse yourself. Be good to yourself. Overall, exercise. Go on long walks. Listen to music you like. Do all these things that is positive. A lot of people find it hard to do this because they don't want to be alone. But you don't have any idea how alone you actually are when you are dealing with these types of people. You should not be dependent on one single person in this world for attention. You shouldn't need anybody for attention. Just yourself. Give all the attention to yourself. Be good to yourself until other people that are worthy of coming in your life come in your life and give them a chance. And it's the same thing for them with you. You guys have to be both doing the same thing. You have to be on the same page as positive people are in order to get them in your life. That means taking time for yourself and getting away from all these low level, low vibrational, toxic, narcissistic people. You have to cure yourself first. And that is doing everything I just listed. You're going to find so much happiness within yourself when you do the things I just said to do. Just from doing those things alone and staying away from all the bullshit people that try to come in. Because it's going to happen. It's not like you're just going to have peace 100% of the time. There's going to be a time here and there where something is going to test you. Something is going to try and come in and you have to stop certain things from coming in. You have to learn to say no to certain things. Somebody from the past might hit you up. Anything like this can happen. There's tests going on in the world all the time in each and every one of our lives. I'm being tested right now by certain things and certain individuals. It happens to me. It happens to me. Nothing is perfect. Nothing is perfect. There's still things that happen to me to this day. I honestly, if I'm being honest with you guys, I feel pretty good right now in this moment. A little bit tired physically, but I feel, I'm feeling pretty good right now. A lot better than I was this past month, month and a half. I've just been around certain energies that was throwing me off. I was in places that I don't usually go within the last little bit and that is because I was making some money working but I'm no longer there and there's other little things 
that just messed around with me a little bit and I'm even starting right now to isolate my own self again and I'm feeling the benefits every single day right now and I'm feeling more clear headed right now and this means you guys are going to get much better videos, much better quality videos. My mind has been elsewhere doing these videos for the past little bit. They've still been alright, but I can do better and I know I can do better. I was wasting too much energy doing other things that I couldn't give my all to this. And I cannot wait till I'm fully back in action doing that. And I feel pretty good doing this video and I'm going to keep it like this and improve this. That's my focus right now. And this is basically all you guys have to do to beat the abuse, the narcissistic abuse that was done to you guys or is being done right now. Cut ties and be good to yourself. Nothing else gets in your way. You have to isolate yourself. If you can't do it right away, you have to find a way to do this. If you have to live alone, do that. I can't even live with one single person right now. I can't do it. When I was a little bit younger, I lived with a group of guys. I can't do that shit. I cannot do that shit. I feel off. I feel distracted. I don't feel like myself. I feel just like angry and mad when I'm around people I don't want to be around. And I even feel that's how I was this past month and I'm starting to feel very good again right now. And just pay attention to how certain people make you feel when you're around them. Pay attention to that. Don't waste your energy on people that is not giving you any energy. That's like the number one sign you're dealing with one of those types of people. And there's no, there's nothing that ever comes that's good out of that. Trust and believe that. The more clear-headed you are, the happier you are. The more clear-headed you are and the more positive you are, the more lonely you are going to be. And when I say lonely, I don't mean literally. I mean like lonely as in away from people. Because this world is dark as fuck right now. This world is extremely dark. I feel like almost everybody lost their sense of self and everyone's just rushed into the matrix. And it's crazy to see. Nobody can just chill and be themselves for a minute. Everyone's like full speed ahead. And when you go full speed ahead and you don't take a minute to sit and observe and learn and be good to yourself and take good care of yourself, you lose yourself in that process of going full speed ahead. Thinking you're doing the right things, thinking you're not missing out on the fun. Right? That's why people are so straightforward. They're just focused on having fun all the time. And that's gonna cause you to lose yourself. Have fun starting and growing a family when you were living that type of life you are going to be a horrible parent you're not in it for the kids people some people have kids just to have kids and they're not in it for the kids they're selfish they have selfish mindsets they have a kid because they want to have kids I want a kid just like they're ha just like they're gonna get like a dog or an animal I want this I want that think about the kids too okay you have to be a good parent and grow up and give that kid everything you didn't have. 
that's my mindset towards having kids. It's not, I want kids. Think about the kids. Give them the best life they can have so they can grow up and be a much better person. As if, if you didn't care about them growing up and you, you just wanted them for attention. Now they're gonna grow up with personality disorders, disorders and everything else. That's what happens. People are fucking stupid, guys. People are fucking stupid. Let's just be honest. Self growth comes from truly knowing yourself. Self growth happens when you are in direct alignment with yourself and there isn't outside energies throwing you off. You can't grow if your energy is off. You can't because you're always going to be in a, in a down state. Always. And there's nothing you can do until you can get out of that because you don't even have the energy to grow when you were down like that. Get in direct alignment with yourself first. And then you can start doing things that take more energy that's going to allow you to grow even more. And you will be amazed at the results. And I'm going to cut this video off right there guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this topic. It was an interesting one. I like doing this video. I got a couple more video requests. I got a couple videos of myself that I'm going to do. I will get to another one. It is the middle of the day right now. I might do another one this evening. If not, I'll do another one tomorrow. And that is all for this. I'm out.